and welcome to Purple Bubble here at Heathens for our regular Monday Arts Live. So I am going to give you guys a few seconds to see who's going to come in and say hello this afternoon. I'm just going to cross a couple of things off and hopefully Mark will be joining us so that he can do some commenting while I work. Now, I'm using my laptop today and it's only got so many USB ports. So I might have to plug things in and out as we go along for me to interact with you guys. But yes, welcome to Arts Live. And today we are going to learn how to make a tissue paper sun catcher. So I'll hold this up so you can have a look. So this is made just of a single layer of tissue paper that I have glued together and I'm going to show you how to make that today. So we've got two people in. Say hello if you're watching. Um, and I hope you're enjoying the weather. Sorry, I'll just type. So, yes, today we are going to build on um, the dream catcher and sun catcher idea that we've been doing for the past couple of weeks, except this time we're going to be using paper and tissue paper to make our sun catchers. So, as I say, I'm using tissue paper and I'm also using black sugar paper. So, the sugar paper... Um, is our frame. If you think about it a bit like a stained glass window, it's the lead. So you can cut quite simple shapes out or you can cut really complicated shapes out. So I've got a bigger circle here, I've got a triangle. But if you wanted to leave some extra lines in the middle to make it look more like a stained glass window, that would work brilliantly too. So what I'm going to do to make a start is I'm going to move this almost complete sun catcher to one side. And I'm going to show you how to create your circular base to begin with. So we need some black sugar paper and we need some circular things to draw around. Now, if you're making a big one, I've got this big soup bowl here. And we're going to turn it upside down on our black sugar paper and we're simply going to draw around it. Now, if you don't have something just a little bit smaller to draw around, what you can do is you could make one with a very large frame or you could kind of freehand closer in trying to follow the lines to make a narrower frame like this one. So a narrower frame is a little bit more wibbly wobbly and um, a broader frame will be a little stronger, but you won't have as much kind of sun catcher stained glass tissue. But I'm going to just very quickly draw around this and show you how to cut these things out. So we're done with our pencil. I don't think I'm going to need my ruler because I'm not doing any straight lines. And all I'm going to do very quickly is rough cut this out because it's much easier to cut things accurately if you haven't got a great big weight of paper dragging down on your cutting work. Put that over there. So, hi Abby, it's nice to have you with us. I hope you've had a lovely weekend. It's been really, really nice. Um, and it's really hot here at Heathlands. We've been, um, Mark and I, and a lovely volunteer called Charles, have been strimming this morning down at the Burks, which is our lovely wetland area down the bottom of site. Um, and we probably picked one of the warmest days of the year, certainly of this month, to do that hot work. So I'm feeling a little tired and quite a bit icky, if you know what I mean quite warm but I've got lots of drinks with me um, and I've got some chocolate to have after I've finished my live broadcast don't tell Mark so having drawn round 
our plates or bowls onto our black sugar paper with a pencil and just carefully following those pencil lines to cut it out. Now, if this is tricky for you, you can always get someone to help because this is the only bit where you need to be a little bit accurate. The rest of the work that we're going to do um, is, yeah, simpler and much more fun. This is the only bit that you've got to really concentrate on. Make sure that you're not doing, well, you can do funny jagged lines if you want, if that's what you prefer. And you don't have to use black sugar paper. You could use, um, you could use any colour of paper or indeed card that you like. I just use black because it reminds me of stained glass and I used to make stained glass a long time ago. So now we need to cut out the hole in the middle and that's the part that's a little bit trickier. What I'm going to do is without folding the whole thing in half, I'm going to nip the middle and I'm going to put a cut in. So hopefully when I open that out you can see I've got a cut in the middle there. Ah, Mark is watching as well. Hi Mark, thank you for commenting. So, having snipped, well, nipped the middle and snipped our paper, we're going to put our scissors in and we're going to make our way to that second inside circular line. And we're going to carefully follow it round. And as I say, you can make whatever shape you like. I just think circles are lovely. Circles are... Um, really interesting shapes actually you see them all over um nature in mythology in folklore in stories and um, one of the interesting things about circles that i love is the fact that it's the first shape a child will draw and that's universal every child always draws a circle first and it's because when a child is growing up when it's going from a baby to toddlerhood, the baby's eyes when they're born, they don't focus very well. So they just see general shapes. So they see faces and the next thing they see is eyes. So everything that they focus in on at the beginning of their development is circular. So that is the first shape that all children draw. So I'm nearly finished cutting out my disc. So any of you who watched back at Easter, when I was making the Easter wreath, it's exactly the same technique as our Easter wreath uh, circle. So, we now have a disc, a ring, to form our stained glass tissue paper sun catcher on. So what I'm using here, I hope you can see, I've got this zip poly pockets now you don't have to have one as posh as this um but any kind of poly pocket will do so if you know what i mean um a poly pockets the things that you put in ring binders that you put pieces of paper in to keep things safe and clean so one of those is absolutely perfect and what we're going to do is the the ring or the disc that we are using um, as the basis of our sun catcher, we're going to put that inside <coughs> our poly pocket. Now I'm thinking I might actually do two. So I've got this circular one and I might also do this triangular one that I've cut out. So we're going to make sure that they're not too close to the edges. And hopefully everybody can see. Um, I'm just scrolling up to have a look at the comments. Um, Abby is saying what's happening tomorrow. Uh, Mike's actually on holiday, but don't worry, Mark and um, Nick and everybody should be around. Um, Helen took, uh, hi Alan, nice to have you with us. Going to be back at Heathlands, Alan, that's brilliant. Um, that's really lovely to hear. Can't wait to have you back. So, as I say, we've put our um, sugar paper shapes inside our poly pocket. And the next thing we need to do is we need to prep the tissue paper that we're using 
to make our stained glass sun catcher. So I'm going to move my other circle out of the way. So I've already prepped some lovely lilac here and I've got some quite bright pink. I was feeling inspired by joy today. These are very joy colours, very spring summery. And then I've got a couple of different tones of green and I've got yellow. Now, anybody who knows us at Heathlands knows that our colours are green and yellow. So I thought that was rather appropriate. So I've got packs of tissue paper here and I'll just show you how I prep the little squares that we use to make our stained glass sun catcher. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut a strip all the way up one side. As I say, you don't need to be terribly neat because we're going to cut it up even more. So I've got a strip of yellow there. If anybody's wondering what the noise is in, in the background, our lovely Jackie is being very industrious. She's making bunting for the start of Wimbledon. Wait, when is the start of Wimbledon? Today. Oh, it's today. There you go. So anybody out there, tennis fans, Wimbledon starts today. Have we got anybody in the running or are we rubbish again? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> Anybody out there that follows sports but better than I do, please tell us if we got uh, any good tennis players in the offing for Wimbledon this year. Caroline. Uh, Caroline should know. Where yeah. is she? So I've got this lovely dark green here that I'm just going to cut another strip off. And, and then I'm going to turn to my green. Caroline's going to look up who's in the offing for Wimbledon this year. I'm going to turn to my pale green and cut a strip of that as well. Now, I'm making little squares with mine, but if you wanted to do odd random shapes, that's entirely up to you. You can cut your tissue paper up however you see fit. So, we'll move that out of the way. So, now that we've got our lovely strips, we can save some time here on our cutting. I'm going to put them up, stack them up together in one pile. And then I'm going to make sure that the ends are roughly at the same point. And all we're going to do is we're going to snip little squares off. So we're going to do this all the way along. Is Andy Murray still playing, is he? Yeah. That shows you how much I pay attention to sport. <laughs> Andy Murray's playing. Okay, cool. Is new one. Right. What's his name? Um, Grapper. Grapper. You guys are Grapper. So I'm just working my way along these strips of tissue paper. Cool. And snipping them into little squares. Now, foolish Helen here probably shouldn't have mixed up her yellows and her greens because I was sorting them out. But oh well, doesn't matter. We can soon divide them up into our separate bowls. So, sort this out. And have a quick look at the comments. Andy Murray's in the tennis for Wimbledon. Yes, Alan, that's what um, Caroline was just saying. So has he won it twice before? Is that right? I think he's won it more than once. Yeah. So I'm just sorting out my squares of tissue paper into the different coloured bowls. And then we're going to make a start on making our tissue paper sun catchers. You don't have to whisper guys, you know. <laughs> they're all being very, they're very secretive and, and spy-like. They're going. You're just talking about cup of tea. I know. <laughs> talking about making a cup of tea. They think they're going to be quiet. It's fine. We know, we know we're working from a purple bubble today. Alan's saying, yes, he has won it twice. I, I thought Alan would know. So I'm going to put my scissors to one side. So, um, let's say at the beginning, to make this, we are using tissue paper and sugar paper. 
The other things you will need are a press stick for when your sun catcher is dry um, and you're going to need some slightly watered down PVA glue. Now if I bring this up here, hopefully you can see, it's not very gloopy, it does kind of run, but you don't want it really watery. So yeah, I would say you want two parts glue to one part water. So not half and half, so like a third again of water mixed up into your PVA. And this is going to look really odd, but what we're going to do to start making our sun catchers, now that our paper shapes are inside the poly pockets, we're going to start painting glue onto the outside. Right, I did a smaller one earlier, so I covered the whole area first. And the reason you put the poly pockets, sorry, the shapes inside the poly pockets is so you've got a guide of where to put your glue up to. So when you're doing your gluing, you want to go over the inside edge, but you don't want to go over the outside edge. So I'm just going around the top here painting the glue on and I'm going to do maybe a third of this to make a start and you can be quite generous with your glue you don't you don't need to be sparing with this at all and paint that glue all over and then what color should I do on the big circle should we go for yellows and greens or should we go for greens and pinks and purples or should we go for a mixture I might go for a mixture. Uh, Alan asking if I had a good weekend. Alan, I had a lovely weekend, yes. Um, we had a visitor yesterday and did barbecue, which was absolutely lovely. Um, what did I do on Saturday? Didn't do a lot. We had kind of a lazy day on Saturday. Um, but yes, it was lovely. Did you have a good weekend? Please do tell us. So, yeah, I think I might go for a bit of a mixture. So I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking my tissue squares and place them on top of the glue. Now, you don't need to worry about adding any more glue at this stage. What you do need to make sure of, though, is that your squares of tissue paper overlap. You don't want them separate. If I show you like this, I'll show you two different colours, that will help. So you don't want your pieces of tissue paper separate, you want them to overlap each other like that. So I'm going to go for greens and just keep adding. And I'm going to do some pinks and some purples as well, I think. Now, if you get glue on your fingers, just give it a quick rub. And get rid of it because you don't want the tissue paper sticking to you that's important um, and all we're going to do is just keep adding tissue paper as I say make sure that your edges overlap now I'm adding that on there and I don't know if I've got enough glue so I'm going to take the glue a bit further down. Oop. Don't worry if they get a bit scrumpled either. It'll all add to the texture. I think I'm going to add a bit of pink in there. That pink's very bright. And yeah, I'm just going to keep adding until the whole thing is full up. So if you've got any questions about the materials, just put them in the comments and I will try my best to answer them. Um, and we're going to just keep on working our way down. I think I could probably cover this up. Now, today's quite a warm, humid day, so this should dry fairly quickly. But as I say, what I've done is I've made one this morning that is completely dry to show you 
how it comes out once it's complete. So I'm going to add some more. And then you can see you can work really very quickly. And I love these colours together. So tissue paper you could get from Hobbycraft, you could get it from WH Smiths, you can probably get tissue paper in places like Asda and Sainsbury's and one thing or another for gift wrapping. Uh, you could even use patterned tissue paper if you wanted to. You don't have to use just the plain colourful stuff like I've got. They're still whispering in the background like they've got state secrets. It's absolutely hilarious. So. Is that what it is? Uh, carry on, I wholeheartedly approve. What? What's not right? What else is there to do with a Monday afternoon? Listen to me, witter on. Good. So, I'm just adding tissue all over. And as I say, make sure that your tissue paper goes over the edge of the black inner circle, um, but not over the edge on the outside. So, I'm going to get this filled up. And hopefully, you can see how quickly you can get this completed. A bit more purple. That purple's really pretty. It's a lovely, pretty lilac. So I just came in and looked what we had in our tissue paper box this morning to see what we had available. And came across these beautiful colors Oops. Right. I think I'm about there. Got glue on me again. So, once your shape is filled up like this, what we need to do is we need to go back with our glue and paint all over the top again. Now, you might need to be a little bit delicate with this because you don't want to scrumple your tissue paper up too much. So you need to kind of work from, how do I describe this? If you're painting, you need to work from the inside of the piece of tissue paper out. You don't want to paint up to an edge like that because it will crumple up. Um, let's have a look. Alan, you're saying you had a good weekend. That's good to hear. Let us know what you're up to. And if you've got photographs of anything you've been up to, do remember to send them in to Friday Live. Um, Abby, last week I promised you that I would help you make a beaded sun catcher and then I just did not get time. So please pester me about that through the week and we'll see what we can do because there's plenty of beautiful beads here. So, as I say, I'm just going all the way over, painting a second layer of glue over the top making sure that I kind of work away from the edges so that I don't crumple everything up. So what you'll notice when this is dried out, if you guys do this at home, is that one side will be shinier than the other. That's because the glue side that dries next to the plastic that you've done the work on it kind of ends up with a polished surface because it's not rough where you've painted it on. It's all beautiful and smooth where it's dried next to the plastic. So just making sure that everything has got a good soaking of glue. And as I say, don't go over that outer edge. If you think there's too much glue on, you can always take a little bit away by giving it a wipe and that, just a bit more there, that's the base of our tissue paper sun catchers. Now, if I hold this up, 
hopefully you can see what I've been working on. I do it like that. Now, the other thing I've got here, I will do the triangle at some point, but the other thing I've got here, if I switch round the plugs that I've got, I told you guys that I've got, um, I've not got enough USBs to plug in all the equipment that I'm using today, but I'm going to plug in this, which is our wonderful new light board, drawing board. So if I put that on there, and then hopefully if I turn this on, you guys will be able to see, if I lift this up, the effect that this will have once it's dried. So our light board is a great way to make sure that we've got tissue paper covering all of the edges once this is dry. And I think it is. So I'm going to move this to one side because I've completed that. And I'll show you this one that I've nearly finished. <laughs> So this one, as I say, if I bring this up closer, one side is shiny. So hopefully you can see that that side is shiny and the other side isn't. And that's the side that's been next to the plastic. As you can see, these are quite flexible, but they are quite strong as well. And that's just with a single layer of tissue, but that gives it a great <laughs> translucency. So, I'm going to turn this off, well, unplug it for now, and show you how we complete our sun catcher. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take some PVA glue, and if you're worried about the surface that you're working on, you can always put some newspaper underneath it. Um, so you don't get glue on your table or, or whatever you're working on. So we're going to take some PVA glue and we're going to be quite generous with it. And we're going to glue all the way around our circular frame here. And when I say I've been quite generous, I will hold this up to the camera for you to have a look at. Always remember to put the lid back on. Make sure it clicks so that our print stick doesn't dry out. Now if I bring this up, hopefully you can see where I've put glue all the way around. Now I want the shiny side to be facing me. So with the glue on this side of our black sugar paper ring, I'm going to put the shiny side down to where we're gluing. And that should stick down beautifully. So we turn it over. And if I hold it up again, you can see where it's gone over the edges, just like I showed you on the um, poly pocket. On the other side, our neat side, that's where we have this nice crisp line to make it look like our sun catcher or our um, stained glass. I don't know what's going on in the background, guys. Uh, I'm just going to bring my great new whiteboard up again and plug it in. Hopefully, you guys will be able to see. Is that it? One, two, three. So it's got different brightness settings. But if I hold this up, hopefully you'll be able to see. In fact, I've got some clever magnets that came with this board. What can do? Whoop. That and hopefully bring this up for you to see with the light shining through. So if you want to put these up in your window at home, there's a couple of things you could do. You could punch a hole in it and um, put some thread through 
to hang it from like so you could hang it from a, a window handle where you open the top of the window or the other thing you could do is just get some blue tack and just blue tack them to your window so that is our completed tissue paper sun catchers or stained glass sun catchers uh, i'm going to let this other one dry and then finish it off later and i'll maybe post some pictures up and um, once they're complete if you've got any other questions you can drop them in the comments and i can get back to you but other than that that's our activity for today so we will see you again the same time and same place next monday at half past one from purple bubble for another arts live hope you've enjoyed this one guys and i will see you again soon bye